Welcome. In front of me, I have the Infinix Hot 12i. Um, there's got to be a better way of naming your phone than that, but I digress. So anyway, uh, let's jump back to it. So you can see there's the phone. It's locked. So let's get started. Now we're going to get started with introduction to intro. So after that, um, in the description, you should find a link to our website. If there isn't one for some odd reason, then just navigate to hardreset.info, search for your phone, which would be the Infinix uh, infamous name. And in there, you'll find a couple, mm, couple like tiles. One of them will be the bypass Google verification. I'm gonna click on it and this will take you straight here. That's one thing. Number two, obviously you will need a computer. That's why I'm recording this on the computer. Uh, you will need also a cable that can connect to your computer. So for me, it's a type A to type C. So I can plug it in. And you also need internet connection so you can download these things. Now judging by the fact that you are watching this video, probably have internet. So from here, Download the two uh, links that are right here, the Universal MTK Drivers and MediaTek FRP Bypass Tool. You will need both of them. And I'll just straight up say I have already installed those, so I won't be doing that on the video. Uh, but I'll just kind of show you what you need to do. Now, there is no password protection on the files, so we can just download them without any kind of problem and unpack them. Just to kind of showcase this, I'm going to unpack this. Um, guess I'll overwrite it. There we go. So, you want to start off by installing the drivers. So, select the MTK drivers auto installer and choose whichever one corresponds to your system. Now, for me, it's the 64. But if your computer has about 4 or less gigs of RAM, um, then you will select the 86. Now, if you're not sure how many gigabytes of RAM your computer has right now, you can just simply press right click on the start button, select system, and you will find it right over here under installed RAM. As you can see for me, it's eight. So I installed the 64 version. Now, like I said, I have already done so. So I won't be installing it anymore. And number two, you will need to navigate to the second folder, which is the MediaTek Universal tool. And here you'll find the MediaTek Universal tool. So just double click on it. It will open up. Now the first time around when you're opening it up, it takes it a bit longer than it did for me. So it might take like 10 seconds for it to actually appear. Don't worry, that's normal. Now from here, you will select Tools, Driver. And again, select the one that corresponds to you, 64 or 86. Uh, and once you select one of them, it will start installing them. Now, hopefully by clicking that, I didn't mess it up. And so once you install it, for you, it should probably take a little bit longer than it did for me. There was just like a flash. It does take, or the first time I installed it, it took me like a minute. And once you install it, you will need to reboot your computer. So reboot your computer, open up this program again and we can now progress further now hopefully by pressing that button i won't need to reboot my computer now i guess we'll see so anyway let's get started so moving to your com uh, to your phone you want to hold the power key and select power off while this is turning off i'm gonna go back to the program so here you want to select erase frp and start now that our phone is off we will hold volume up and volume down at the same time. And while holding it, you want to plug it in with cable, which I grabbed the wrong cable for this. Anyway, I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Now I grabbed the correct one. So give me a moment. I need to plug it in. Okay, so again, volume up, volume down, and plug it in. And there we go. 
On the computer side, you can see that it started doing something once you plug when you plug it in. So once it's starting to show up with something, just let go of those two keys. Give it a about five seconds, and as you can see, it will bring up a message right here in the green little field. Progress completed. Once that is visible, your phone and hold power key. Now once the device boots up, you should be able to finish up the setup without needing to verify anything. The device will be well, unlocked. Now I would still recommend after you go through the setup to perform a factory reset of the phone through settings just to be absolutely sure that everything that could have been left over from the old account is removed but it doesn't look like it's a necessity but like i said i would still recommend doing it now once the device boots up as it did i'm gonna quickly just jump through the setup right here Now, as you can see, right now I have the option to uh, log in into Google account, but obviously I don't need to verify anything, so I can just skip this. And there we go. So you can see that we have now access to a home screen. Now, like I mentioned before, I do recommend going through the factory reset of the device through settings. This will ensure that the device is fully unlocked. But at the end of the day, you can see that the device is right now bypassed and you can start using it. So anyway, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.